I'm here in the beautiful mountain home and studio of Lee McComas with her wonderful dog Coco uh, with her ball. Um, hi. And we're um, picking up Coco because she's um, featured in one of the pieces that I've done. This one's called Puppy Love. And you know, she dropped her ball because she wants to chase it. You may have to put her down. Yeah, I might. Go okay, it. okay. <laughs> but this is Puppy Love, and this is my stepdaughter, Maya. So Coco is um, uh, pretty generous with her kisses. And um, yeah, I so can tell. This is right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I want to show you this piece because um, it's easy to see the applique process that I use. Um, so all my pieces start out with layers of fabric and then we stitch over the top of them. And, and oftentimes I completely stitch or it looks like I've completely stitched. This one I'm trying or playing around with some new textures and designs. So, but you can see that. And I'm going to be teaching a class at the right. Quilter and Workshop. We're actually really excited for you to come. You're yeah. coming for two workshops for during one week, uh, the week of July 16th, right? 16th, 17th, we're gonna be doing thread painting, mm -hmm. and then a day off on the 18th, 19th, and 20th is gonna be this um, applique portrait piece. And then next to you is a sample of the thread painting that oh, wow. I've done. This guy is the cobbler, and I took this picture when I was living and teaching in Turkey. So this was on the Turkish-Iranian border. So and I saw them in a street market. Right. Are the is the face and the hands thread painted? Right. Right. And then the rest is just a fused raj applique. Okay. So you can see that. Wow. Yeah. So I pulled Amazing. out some samples because we're not going to tackle anything quite this um, ambitious in the classes. But in the we're going to start with the thread painted portrait class. We're going to do a lot of warm up exercises. So if you've never thread painted in your life, I'm going to take you through that the first couple of days. Just how to fill spaces, how to blend from one color to the next, how to create soft and hard edges. And then we're actually going to do a face that's about this size. So it'll be small, it's really easy to work with. But here's some samples of some of the pages or some of the photos. Oh, wow. We've done and we'll talk. And these are pretty monochromatic, but we'll, I'll talk you through multiple complexions doing different sets of threads for each person here's another one that allows you to see how that goes mm -hmm. yeah then a day off you can finish working on your project or do some sightseeing and then we're gonna take two days and do this fuse to applique process and I really believe it's important to learn both processes separately and really sort of master them before you start doing what I do, putting one on top of the other. But this is a photo of me. Um, but everybody who comes to the workshop is going to send me a photo ahead of time and I'll get it prepared for you. And you, you're going to do a photo, but someone you know, someone you love or not. Um, we're going to talk about values so you don't have to do it in sepia or flesh tones. If you get the... Um, I always say, if you get the value right, you can do it in any color. So this again is Maya. She was one of my great models. This was one I did of her in, you know, to kind of a, a funky color scheme. And then just to see, show you what can happen, I made two identical um, quilts, and then I thread painted the second one. Yeah. Let's look at them side by side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So tip them up, or? So the one on the left is the applique and the one on the right is the thread paint. Yep. So you can you can paint. really tell the difference between the two and both look absolutely stunning. Wow, thanks. And the idea You're of the welcome. thread painting is it just softens these edges. Mm -hmm. So it's not quite so cartoonish. So if you take both workshops, then you get this final. Yeah, so you'll do a small one. You'll do a thread painted portrait. You'll do kind of a fat quarter size applique portrait. And then I think my goal is to teach you the two processes so you can take them home and do your own project. And I always have people whose favorite person is oh, yeah. a four-legged animal. Yeah. yeah. Like the one that I'm holding. Yes, mm -hmm. she's back. She's back. <laughs> yeah. And then again, the same dog, just a livelier color scheme. So we'll talk through that. And the beauty of it is we're at the e Quilter warehouse where there's no shortage of fabric choices. Yeah. So there won't be. And thread. And thread. And thread. Yeah. And thread. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and we have your special right. thread. Sets. So yeah. if our 
if the people who would like to come to your class would like to pre-buy some thread, they yeah. can type in your name okay. and our thread sets will come up. There you have it. All right. All right. One thing left to do. Oh. And that is today is Sophie's birthday. <laughs> June 24th. Ah, oh. So we are going to finish up with cupcakes. Yours is the one with oh. the candle. Oh, well, thank you. Yes. Do you want me to light it or can we just dig in? We can just oh, dig in. Okay. I, I think we should light it personally. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not sure where the lighter is. Oh, okay. oh all right. Well, all right. it was we'll dig in. great <laughs> to learn all about your workshop and we hope to see yeah some, some people out and, and joining us yeah come in and join us yeah. a great time to be in Colorado if you live someplace where there is um, humidity and heat oh, yeah. come visit us in Boulder yeah, sure. oh and look someone in oh. the sidelines uh, coming in with... okay. Here we, go. we got it all right yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Sophie. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Yay. Thank right. you. <laughs> <laughs>